I just hit record a moment ago and the camera was on, the webcam on my laptop, and it was my shirtless body. It was disgusting. Anyways, uh, welcome to this quick video. We are going to take a look at installing Linux in Windows 11. Yes, that brought a huge smile to my face saying that. So funny how things have changed in the world of Windows. We love it. So we are in Windows 11. We're going to go to the Microsoft Store. Things have changed. The Winix, uh, the Winix. Oh, there's one. The Linux subsystem is now given to you as part of the Microsoft Store. This is great news. So I'm going to do a search on Linux. And if you look in here, you'll see the Windows subsystem for Linux. This is in preview technically right now. Maybe by the time you do this, it'll be out of preview. But from what I've heard, this is going to be the very stable way to install the subsystem for Linux. What's going to be great about this is that they, being Microsoft, can now frequently update this for us, making it not part of the Windows code like they had done in Windows 10. Separating it out like this is going to be great news so that they can make it better for us more consistently, like, you know, uh, Linux itself. So let's click open. I have no idea what's going to happen when we click open. Uh, it just says, okay, there's no installed distribution. I love it. And it can, uh, you know, give us, uh, it gave us suggestions on distributions. And of course that's now going to be just rerunning our search on Linux and picking your favorite flavor. I'll do an Ubuntu install here. I'll just say get and uh, I'll pause the video as this installs and then I'll show you what happens when it's done. All right, so that finished up. It took about three minutes and uh, let's see. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, it's saying that a required feature uh, is not in existence, so it can't start. Now, one thing that's interesting is it didn't have me reboot after installing the Linux subsystem. That was definitely something we had to do before. Also, I did read about uh, this feature. So I'm gonna go to add, remove programs. Let's go super old school. I haven't even checked for the control panel, but of course it's still alive in Windows 11. I'll go to my large icon view and I'm going to programs and features, old school. And we go to turn Windows features on or off. And what I was reading about was there may be a setting in here we still need to turn on manually. And that is the virtual host functionality. So let's check for that. I'm going to scroll down here. Uh, notice the Windows subsystem for Linux is not checked but that's okay. That doesn't need to be checked because of the way we installed it. But I think we need to turn on the hypervisor. Uh, no, I think it's the virtual machine platform. Let's try that. So I'm gonna say, okay. And it's gonna install the virtual machine uh, attributes. And then I'm gonna try and, uh, oh, look at that. We do have to restart. All right, I'm gonna restart. We'll be right back. See if we have Linux up and running. In Windows 11. So will you look at this? I went to the icon on the start menu for my uh, Linux that we installed and it is ready for the new Unix username and my password and I'm sure I'll have to confirm that and yes I want to try again. Let me go slower and let me go slower one more time. And there we go. And we are running the show version. I just lapsed into Cisco language there. I think I want uh, uname a to check the version. And yes, there we go. So yeah, uh, in fairness, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the Microsoft store and I want you to install the subsystem as we did. Remember I did the search for Linux and I went and installed the subsystem and then do me a favor, reboot, 
because I think that's all you're going to need to do. So they didn't have you reboot, but reboot. If uh, you're still not functioning properly, then go ahead and do that step that I did and enable the virtual machine support. Uh, but yeah, I want you to try rebooting first because in fairness, I didn't test that. Remember what I did as troubleshooting, I made the add remove programs change, then I rebooted and it's working. We don't know uh, the dependency there. Well, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'm gonna go have some fun with Ubuntu here in none other than Windows 11. And now to end this video in a totally random fun way, uh, this is a video that just popped up on my Windows 11 system. It went out, it apparently, and it gathered up all my videos and shortcut them in a videos folder for me. And I see Network Chuck, the great YouTuber, uh, Network Chuck here with one of his adorable daughters. And this was a video he sent me uh, threatening to start playing his guitar again as a result of me picking it up. So, adores. Hola to Network Chuck and his family.